Hi everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, I will show you how you can create and generate tokens and how you can use that token in your art, in scripting, in body, and how you can manipulate your scripts, uh, how you can use that token in a different ways. So I recently found uh, a lot of people struggling to create a tokens and they're not able to get how to do that. So I will just quickly show you how you can do that. So you need one collection for that. I have this Bruno collection and I have a script at collection level. You can add this script as request level, folder level, wherever you want to create a collection. I want to create a tokens at collection level and I want to use that token throughout my folder, scripts, uh, request and all the stuff. That's my use case. But if your use case is a specific folder, so you can add this script to your folder. If you want to generate a token only for that request, so you can use that this script uh, only for that request. My use case is different here, so that's why I'm adding this to a collection level. So I have this uh, script, which is a Axios, which is just making a post request, adding some email and password as an input data, and just adding a token and just setting a brew dot set variable and getting that uh, token from the response data. So that's a simple stuff, and we can also get the console log, which I quickly show you. So how can generate a token? You can simply go to any request and just execute this any request and go to runtime variable. Uh, as you can see, I have this token uh, which is coming from my collection level script. So I will just show you. Uh, so this is my brew, uh, brew dot set variable token and getting a response dot data token. So it's generating here from this script from here. And how you can use that uh, in uh, your script and your uh, different sections. So if you go to your auth and select as a bearer token, we'll just simply do this by token. And right now your token, as you can see, it turn out into a green. So it means you will you can able to see this value. Uh, not necessary. You need to create a runtime variable you can create a, a brew dot set in where that's also works if you want to set a brew dot set global variables uh, variables in variables you can do that uh, but just for the demo case we are creating a runtime variables and you can use that uh, as simple like a token like this and when you execute this request the token will also go with that inside a auth and body section. So go to timeline. As you can see, you have a bearer as authorization, and you have this uh, particular token. It's a console log. So I will just quickly show you how you can see that. So just clear everything, and we are sending a token here, and also we are getting token here. So that's how we can create a, a tokens, and you can use that throughout your scripts and folder. So that's a use case you can do that so this is how you can do that i just show you and this scripts will be available uh, to you uh, in the comment section you can simply click on that and get the script so thanks for watching see you in the next video